Oh guys, buenos dias! Uh, we now here in our area from our apartment um, we're going to grab our laundry now because today is a little bit more casual day no fancy uh, no fancy activities today just a normal day that also has to has to lead to the topic of the video today because we want to show you guys how a normal day of full-time travels looks so we're gonna grab our laundry today go and get a haircut to get fresh again and just show you how a normal day looks like so the thing about laundry which i wanted to mention is like you can pretty good out <laughs> you can pretty good outsource your laundry in asia we paid like two to three euros for um, our laundry because we not have that much because um, we travel with a small backpack and if you don't have much clothes you have to bring back laundry for once a week uh, one time a week so yeah it's okay in uh, america we had problem with this because it was like 20 euros to get your clothes washed and that's like too expensive but yeah here it's also not expensive so we're gonna get our laundry now let's see what we pay and yeah so one thing i also wanted to mention guys is the thing that when you travel for a long long time and uh, we've been now traveling through so many countries and over seven months so not everything can be always like perfect you will have days where you like you have to plan things you have to organize things then there's bad weather then things work not out like you always um, wanted it so yeah but it also it's a negative thing in the moment but when you when you think about it later it totally makes makes sense and you like get better in traveling because we were like realizing the last few few weeks that we learned how to travel it's like we said like oh if we have now the mindset and we were at the start like we were we could have done this and this better and this better but it's all a process so yeah just do it traveling is always the best and yeah we just wanted to tell you guys or show you guys today a little bit more of a normal day some responsibilities you have to do when you travel full-time and um, but i think it's always uh, a luxury uh, life so yeah let's let's go get the laundry and see what else we can do today because we also have i think to get some groceries and all that stuff when you live in an airbnb you don't have these things that you're always always ready okay Gracias. Hola. Laundry. Okay, when can we come back? 2, 2 p.m. 2 p.m.? Okay. 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 Gracias. So guys, as you can see, as I mentioned it, not everything not, works out. Not everything works out like planned. So he said, I'll come back tomorrow at 12. Now it's, uh, it's 2 o'clock. So yeah, you see guys, it's not always like it works out but you have to make it work so now we have to improve and get get our laundry later uh, we need actually but our laundry because there are all our things basically so we not can go anywhere yes i think we're just going to the barber now probably yeah. so guys as you saw the plans change all the time you never are certain but we're gonna have to make the best out of it so i still look like shit so we have to go to the barber now uh, maybe till then it's gonna be two so let's see because I need to get the bird the bird baby look away and then uh, later we're gonna have to get the laundry again maybe we're gonna grab something to eat or drink in the meantime because it's still like two or three hours so let's see what we can do and yeah let's search for Baba guys okay guys we just bought some groceries and I really have to say the groceries are also very cheap so far like we've been here for three days now i think and we spent nearly no money like it's really crazy and we also cooked we did we rarely cooked at our travels but here i have to say i have good good groceries good yeah. prices it's really nice very worth it so we're now heading to the barber Okay, so there's just one more. I think we're just waiting here. 
Oh, because we need to spend the time anyway, so it's no problem. We need to take another two hours. So we'll update you when we are in the barber and when we are getting to cutting my hair. And Nick also gonna cut hair today. So let's see how it's gonna turn out. So guys, I'm just getting the usual, just another bus cut. For me, it's always the same basically. And it's always nice to have these Supreme and Louis Vuitton caskets. So, unfortunately, uh, we can't really communicate because my Spanish is still too bad. So we will uh, have to see. But I think the bus cut is easy haircut, so they always get it right. With Nick, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. But we're gonna see how it turns out for us both. So guys, we now finish with lining up. Ah, yes. Um. That's uh, YouTube and personal. Yes. So we now finished with lining up, it's very nice, mine is always very fast and this kind guy did very good so I just gave him the Instagram and now I think it's Nick's turn so let's see what Nick is actually gonna get so what do you say guys, all finished so Nick is getting his cut now, a little bit shorter today also like me, Seiten auf Null but uh, on top it's gonna be long so we've been here for three, four days now in Medellin and we really have to say it's nice, it's a really nice vibe to it. Here in Centro there's a bunch of locals and always when you get out of your uh, apartment it's always like bam, life and noises and everything but it's very nice, we're enjoying it very much and we're staying for another four days I think. So we're definitely gonna check out more parts of the city. We also want to get uh, lively as you heard. <laughs> So we definitely want to check out more parts of the city. So like we want to go to Comuna 13 and maybe go uh, into the hills because there are a lot of cable cars here. So we're gonna have to see what the weather also has to offer because yesterday was a big rainy day. So you can't plan those things. But we'll have to see, we'll have to make the best out of it. Later we're gonna get our laundry and then let's see what the day has to offer for the rest. But overall definitely nice city, nice checking out. We still have to improve our Spanish skills because we just uh, noticed in the markets you can't really uh, go far without like interacting really with the locals. So we'll have to see how it turns out, but we're still improving. And I think this is probably the best plan to uh, learn Spanish because the people are so open and they really want to talk with you. So I think we're gonna get it guys. Okay guys, we're cleaned up and we paid about uh, 35,000 pesos so it's actually a really good price and we also got our groceries so we're bringing them home now and then hopefully it's gonna be around two so we can finally grab our laundry and maybe something to eat and then we're gonna see what the rest of the day has to offer hey guys guys finally. we secured the bag man we got it after spending some time buying groceries getting a fresh cut you see guys what you think about it uh, we now got the laundry for like 250 per person which is five euro so very nice always good this is this is I think the average price which you uh, uh, for what you can get your laundry done in these countries um, so like yes all of our laundry so it's, it's like five kilogram or something like that so I think it's a fair price yes it's very fair price so you can outsource that and you don't have to do this uh, only like sometimes that uh, need like two days and then it's like a little bit shitty when you when your last uh, pants is like in there and you have to wait but I think it's okay and yeah we're now heading to search for something to eat and um, yeah pretty pretty normal day pretty chill day organized stuff and yeah next days we're gonna go to some nice barrios and uh, to some nice areas so keep updating for that guys and uh, yeah Let's enjoy this and search for something to eat, Noah. You hungry? Yes, yes, I'm really hungry. Yes, because the last weeks we were like not fit at all. We we're like a little bit ill, but we're gonna gonna be back to the normal life soon, I hope. 
Wow, okay guys. We ended again in a Colombian KFC. It's called Frisbee. And here I have to say, they eat their chicken with honey. Everywhere you get like honey on the side. So we ordered just some basic chicken with rice and a little burrito, chicken burrito. All about for like five euro per person, which is a little bit more expensive, but we're here in a, in a little food court area. So we're gonna dig in, eat that. And that's, that was it for the video, guys. A pretty basic video, just to show you how a normal day looks like when we not do fancy stuff or go on crazy markets. So yeah, guys. Keep, um, keep watching the videos. Thank you very much for the support. We appreciate it and have a good one. Yummy, it's the game.